a guy that needs no further introduction, AJ Raphael, yeah. back on Couple Buy in LA. You know what? First of all, thank you so much. You've gotten so big, <laughs> but you still make time. Every time I text you, oh no, you know I love, week, I love being here, Janelle. Well, thank it's you. It's a so family much. here. Thank you so much for coming on Couple Buy in LA. Yeah, you no have a lot of stories, so I'll shut up. And <laughs> you, you, okay. Start, start talking. Start where, telling where, us where, stories. Where we... Philippines. Last time you were here, you were on your way to the Philippines. How was that experience? Yeah, right? it was. It was amazing. It was uh, a dream come true. You know, I've been watching a lot of these artists, and I ended up on the TV show that I've been watching for like 10 years. You know, yes. like ASAP. Yes. You know, yes. that was a big deal for me. Uh -huh. Gary V. Meeting him, um, I had known his son Paolo uh -huh. through Twitter and stuff, and um, but when I met his his family, you know, it was that's when it, it became like. Oh my gosh, you you're bigger than life, Paolo. Yeah. Your family is bigger than life. Yeah. You know what I mean? But you guys are still so humble and you know so down awesome. to earth, so grounded, and you have a signed copy of yeah. Life. You know, I got really close with with Tito Gary. Yes. You know, and he says on here, you're such an inspiration, and to hear that from one of my inspirations and one of my uh, like music idols is it means it means a lot and. You know, God bless him, he's amazing. Was that the kind of expectations that you had going to the Philippines, that you have all those amazing experiences? I, I follow you on Twitter, and all of a sudden I see you guesting on this show, on that yeah. show, and all the other different shows. Were that, was that all planned? Well, yeah, it was part of the plan, definitely. You know, I didn't expect it to overwhelm me, though. You know, like being there on stage with Mr. Gary V, you know, that was extreme, like an extreme honor. Um, my my Southeast Asia tour promoters had you know wanted me to set up TV shows and radio interviews like that, um, but you know when it was actually happening, I mean I can't even this right. footage is insane. And <laughs> you know? so it, when because you came out in so many shows on ABS-CBN mm -hmm. in the Philippines, right. people are now saying, well, are you an ABS-CBN talent? <laughs> yeah, um, you know. I, yes. I'm, no. <laughs> no, not okay. definitely not officially. You know, mm -hmm. I did do all ABS stuff out there, mm -hmm. but you know I'm open to everything. I have friends on. GMA like JR, Chris Lawrence, and and all those guys, you know, and they're all cool. Um, and there's a lot of cool people on, on ABS and even TV5. What did you learn from uh, playing with all these people, getting a taste of the showbiz industry in the Philippines? Um, you know, it's it's pretty different out there. You know, it's and this is you know a, a crazy topic that I always bring up, but. It's a cover culture out there, you know. They love American music and foreign music. Mm -hmm. You know, you watch mix, you know, uh, in the Philippines, they're all playing K-pop. You know what I mean? I hope they find the transition back to OPM. Right. Back to when like Kitchen and Doll and MYMP and South Border were all famous. Um, they had number one hits at mm -hmm. the same time as American music, you know. Right. Right. And um, it's tough when you even have someone as Legendary as Gary V still singing covers and things like that on ASAP, you know, cover music because of the because of the network. You know, that's a good observation. But now that you seem to have like a profound um, insight to what happens in show business in the Philippines, mm -hmm. and, and this ties into my question earlier, would you want a career in the Philippines, or is that what you're um, headed? Um, you know, I, w I would love to have a successful career in the Philippines, but I do want to have a successful career here first mm -hmm. in, in the U.S. And, you know, I, I've touched a lot of people with my music, and I think that's enough for me, mm -hmm. you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. um, but to be successful out there as well as here, I, I'm, my priorities are here because I'm American. You Very know what well I mean? said. Very well said. You're yeah. an American that traces your roots to, Filipino. to the Philippines. But I parents. like that you said that you, without, you know, without shame, you're saying you're American and you're owning that. And you are are well on your way to making it here. You just got <laughs> shortlisted to the Grammys, and you actually you. went to the Grammys. We're going to be yeah. talking about that. Pretty exciting things. When we return on Couple by in LA, don't go away.